Now, today is known as Fat Friday because it's the day most of us will fall off the wagon with our New Year's resolution diet. Those of us that want it in the first place. Joining us now to tell us about his resolution and how he is determined not to fail is Mark Bonness and his personal trainer, Tom Godwin. Gentlemen, welcome both. Hello. 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 Afternoon. So, well, let's just find out what your resolution is. My resolution is to give up alcohol for a whole 12 months. I apologise for the little film we showed before, then it must have almost been like torture for you. I felt that torture. <laughs> I really did. Yeah. So, go on, why do you want to give it up for, for a year? Well, at the end of last year, I kind of reviewed and looked back at my year and looked at how much money I'd spent on alcohol, how many text messages I'd sent drunk. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, down that route lies, <laughs> that lies danger, doesn't it? Yeah. It certainly does. And just really, you know, looked at... I was thinking about if I didn't spend time, effort, energy, money on drink... What else could I put it into in, in order to improve body, mind and spirit? And that's really my goal. It's not just give up alcohol. It's, it's what else can I do with that time, money and effort? And, and so how much were you spending, just a rough ballpark figure? Crikey. At least weekends out, at least 60, 70 a week. It's a lot mm. of money. On so just the alcohol? Mm. Blimey. Two nights not... out a week. Yeah. But then you wine at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah. And it depends where you buy your alcohol as well. You know, if you buy it in a... City centre bar, you're paying an awful lot True. for a small True. drink. However, Thank you for making me feel better there. <laughs> Maybe you weren't drinking as much as you thought. How's it been so far, 20-odd days in? Do you know what? Week one and week two was fine. It was like, I've got my goal. I'm, I'm really challenging myself. Uh, last weekend, I went to a club without drink. Yes. I was back home in an hour, literally. I was Were you not just home. enjoying being sober and looking at how daft everybody else looks like they're You should have seen not. that club. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, I'm going to just bring you in here yeah, and nice. let's, let's just talk about sort of the health effects of, of people who drink at the weekends, which is what we mo most of us do. Mainly drinking, you know, it's not a great thing to do. It, it pushes your body fat up. It's a, it's a major contribution to people being overweight and drinking alcohol because there's loads of calories, various different um, forms of alcohol, different levels of calories, but, you know, you can be talking huge amounts in a weekend, you know, especially drinking 70 quid's worth a week. Um, the health benefits, you know, it reduces your cancer risk, reducing your, um, your alcohol intake massively reduces your cancer risk. What a lot of people don't know is that, sort of, for females, the recommended limit is one to two units a day, um, whereas males is two to three. They used to go off the sort of week thing, but now they've cut it down to a daily sort of Define limit. those units for me. It, it what depends would what constitute you drink. my two to three units? It depends what you drink. What kind of stuff do you normally drink? Red wine, you say. Red wine. I'd say... An average size glass you get in a bar would be about two units. That's, and that's practically my limit for the that's day. That's practically your limit for the day. Oh it's very easy to go <laughs> so. Let's just see. But, so Mark set himself this task of yep. a year of not drinking. Is something like that sustainable? Well, I think it is, because the main thing that Mark's done this awesome that I'm really happy to be involved with this project about is he's become accountable for what he's done by putting it out there, not just to his friends, his family, to his personal trainer in this case, but to the whole world. So the chances of him failing are, are quite small, I think. Yeah, you're you know. quite media savvy. I mean, there's, there's a blog and there's a, a, a web page that I was looking at today. Was it Don't Buy This Man A Pint or something? Is that's that right, right. <laughs> Don't Buy This Man A Pint dot com. And that's what I wanted to do, you know, because you are holding yourself accountable. And it'd be easy for me to go to a pub, have a quick drink, nobody would know. But I want to kind of keep accountable and keep going with the mission, really. That's my goal. In one sentence, because we've just run out of time, what are you going to do with your time instead? And your money. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, I want to explore spirituality and uh, culture. Wonderful. Guys, thank you so much. Thank I have you. to hats off to you yeah. because I couldn't do it. No, neither could I. Come no. back in six months' yeah. time and give us an update, will you? Yeah. See how it goes. I Fine. could come back in a week's time and give you an update. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what your update yeah. would be. Yeah. It wouldn't be what you wonderful. want, would it? Thank you, thank gentlemen. You. Nice to meet you.